good morning. I don't know if we'll do an intro to this, but good morning, guys, because it is 6.15. So uh, we're, we're, not, we're up nice and early, and we are on our way to film Billy Billingham, and I'm super excited about this interview. So Billy Billingham is an SAS trainer, um, as he was in the Special Forces, he was in the Power Regiment. Uh, he's got a really interesting life story uh, that starts out on the rough streets in the UK. And he actually got stabbed as a kid and almost died, stabbed in the back and almost died. And then he went into the military and straightened himself out. So, really cool story, kind of story we, we really like on Mulligan Brothers. Guys, before we get started, please head over to Instagram and follow me at Jordan Mulligan Brother. If you're watching this, why haven't you done it yet? We're trying to reach 10,000 followers, come on. And today's video is sponsored by mulliganbrothers.com where you can buy these Inspire Change t-shirts. Link is down below and it helps support projects like this and future projects and the documentaries and the whole business and it is much appreciated. Thank you to everyone who does that. Let's jump into the video. some dry spots to shoot and I think we'd probably risk the Komodo in a, in a spring cover rain, wouldn't we? A little bit, yeah. So hopefully we'll be under tree cover and we can risk it. I'm fairly certain Billy will run no matter what, so that's fantastic. Um, and yeah, I know why it is, because I'm not wearing my lucky hat, so. I've got my lucky hat. Well, you need two lucky hats, so yeah. questions that I wanted to prep. I am very excited. Rain's died down enough now where we could definitely shoot in this. So it's just sprinkling a tiny little bit so we could shoot in this. Um, yeah, neither are you excited? Yeah, very really excited. What are you excited. looking forward to the most? Just hearing what it really has to say. The, the interview itself? Right? Yeah, the interview yeah. itself. Yeah, yeah, same as Neve, like, I, I love learning about um, like different stories, so I think that'll be interesting. I also think because of the type of run, like you, you might be doing a run and stuff, like it might be quite challenging to film. So I just think that'd be cool to like, I don't know, just try little, new little things whilst we're filming. Yeah, same, I think so. I think uh, I might be on that toes a little bit. Definitely. I'm excited to get the road in now and play with that. Okay guys, so we've just um, we've just basically gone through the plan and we're going to get the cameras and gear set up now. So Neil's going to be on audio, it's going to be wireless, yeah. which means she needs to kind of be in distance of the cameras. Um, I'm going to be on the Ronin and Luke's going to be on the long lens and that's kind of it. We just need to pop filters on because it's quite light and we'll get going. So, it's going to be fun. So it was really interesting and we were really welcomed in by Billy and his team and his family to basically see like a slice of it, his life and a look into his mindset. And there was something that really stuck with me when we were with Billy and the filming. And I think I will take it on board for the rest of my life. It's probably something that at Mulligan Brothers we've already utilized quite a lot. And that's what I wanted to talk about. So it's a, it's, a, it's a quote that Billy Billingham lives by, but also is the SAS quote as well. And it's always a little further. It's about you as an individual going always a little further, because you can. And strangely enough, many, many years later, then I joined the SAS. That is part of our prayer. 
always a little further, and I've kept that as my mantra. Since. And it applies to so many different things in life. I mean, just specifically to this day, we had supposedly had Billy for an hour for him to go work out and an hour for the interview. And we ended up doing around two or three hours working out, running around, swimming, jogging, hiking. And then we had about another hour and a half on the interview. So he was basically saying, what's the point of just coming here and doing the bare minimum? Let's just do a bit more. You're here for one time. Let's get as much footage as we can. We may as well do a little bit more, always a little further. And this is what Billingham spoke about was as soon as he runs to a tree, as soon as he's arriving at a destination, he sets a target slightly further. There's like a little devil on his shoulder saying, just a little bit more. Just finished uh, all the B-roll shooting, all the more documentary, run and gun style stuff with Billy. Um, we just did a little rook. Uh, it turned into a quick off the fly piece, so we'll probably have a highlight on the channel about um, Billy Billingham giving you advice on how to how to rock and how to train for rocking. Um, very good advice, no bullshit kind of advice, which I love. So we'll create a whole piece out of that, I think. Uh, and then the B-roll was fantastic. I only fell over once, twice maybe, slipped twice. But um, we are now heading to do the interview and this will be it. So we'll go do the interview. After we've done the interview, if, it's, if this rain stops, we'll get some drone B-roll. And that's it, that's the project. That'll be the project wrap, so I'm already really buzzing with how much stuff we've captured. Okay, so we have set the interview up. Uh, we've got the Red Gemini on the long lens. We're going off batteries again, What? no wires. And we've got a rotor light over there with a V-Lock battery on it. Uh, white screen, overhead mic, NTG2, ears plugged in. Two Sennheiser um, wireless labs, and then we've got the Komodo who's going to be filming me. Um, we are not using a tripod, we're just going to dump it on here and it's going to be fine. And that's it. Good location. I have seen so many people set goals, achieve those goals, and realise that when they arrived they weren't happy. For me, one of the biggest parts of success, and one of, or as I would define success, is the journey. That's the whole point. The journey to success is success. The results are great, but when you arrive there, if you stop, I feel that you stop becoming successful. You're no longer working towards something. So it's all about the journey, and that's the bit you will enjoy. That is the bit that when you stop in the future and you look back and you go, what have I achieved so far? You don't see the little things like the, the building or the house, or you know, they're marker points, you see the journey, you remember the journey, you remember how it felt to be working till two in the morning on a project to push it out for the next day. You remember those things, you smile when you look back at those things. I'll be honest, I mean, I did, I, I enjoyed the, the tempo of you know, what the regiment was all about and what conflict, and I loved it. And I wanted more of it, I didn't want to miss out. I enjoyed it while, while it was there, I knew it was a, a time frame that you could do this for and I just wanted to get as much as I possibly could out of it keep going back and doing whatever it might be. So always a little further means that you can just continue that journey all the time, constantly setting a new goal, constantly pushing the bar slightly further away. It's about not being comfortable, it's about not settling. I remember when Jacob died, for me, I couldn't get out of bed. So I was, I was in really bad grief and I couldn't get out of bed. So I think when I'm talking about always a little further, in that moment, it was about wearing pajamas. It was about making the bed. And genuinely, so this was my goal at one point, was to have a bath, put on pajamas, and make the bed when I wake up. They were the goals. And I remember once I'd done that, I set another goal and it would, I can't even remember what that would be, have breakfast, drink coffee, you know, like sit really simple things and to the point where my always a little further was just living to a no normal human again. It was to, be able to function as a normal human being. But at one point, my fervor was literally making the bed. That's how bad it had got. Um, and that's why I think always a little further is such a wicked quote because it can apply to everybody. What's going on guys? Just finished the interview at HR4K with Billy Billingham. And amazing, really as cool. always, amazing. amazing. Um, that project 
for me is one of the most exciting ones because it's the one we've filmed most B-roll for. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully they add it together. There was a little bit of noise in there, so we're hoping we'll be able to fix the noise in post. The most different B-roll as well. Yeah, like. there's a lot of different B-roll. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you to Billy <laughs> and his team for everything. Thank you for these two and you, sir. Uh, it was an amazing project. Thanks for Jordan. The whole project today was sponsored by Inspire Change. At, and the new Inspire Change is going to be coming soon at www.mulliganbrothers.com. Mulliganbrothers.com. Uh, if you go buy a t-shirt on there, you're helping support these projects and projects like these on the, in the future. So we literally can't do this without you guys. So thank you for all the support. And on to the next project. Woo!